folks, Luke Simons with you. Back to the basics 101. I am redoing this latch system. We got a lariat here, which is fine if you like messing around with all that all the time. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna fix her up with a more sophisticated, easy system. I wouldn't call her really a sophisticated though. It's actually pretty simple. Let's take a gander, shall we? So I just got a piece of firewood here, about yay long. It's kind of got a little nook there. Doesn't really need that, but it's gonna be handy. And uh, let's see here, that is all of a, about a hand span, okay? Not a real big deal. And what I'm gonna try to show you here is a little old cowboy, uh, what am I gonna call it? Leverage, okay? And this is gonna be for your gate. A kid will be able to close this, particularly a small child, which will be handy when I'm running a tractor. Okay, so we got this in the bottom wire. Okay, that's gonna be right about there. We're gonna want that to come right, right about here. And the way this is gonna be, is it's gonna latch right here, okay, on the wire. Why? Because I don't have a strong post to put out on that side. So if we're gonna put a chain on this side, this is going to pull it along. We're not catching none of that. Hopefully we can show you in a little bit what we're going to try to do. So right now, that's about exactly where I want it. I'm going to cut a groove, right? I think in a little groove in the wood, something to make sure that that wire doesn't slide on my, on my stick. Securing the chain onto the stick with a piece of wire. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put a staple in there as well. Sorry about the wind, folks. I really am. It's just North Dakota. We always have wind. I do need to invest into a better recording system. The chain is now secure to the piece of stick. The chain, and I've seen people not use chains. This is just an old piece of you know, buzzard chain recycle. Probably 17 times over. Okay, this is going to be right here. And so when you twist it, she's gonna put the, the honky on it and put it where it needs to be. Let's make this happen. Nice thing about YouTube land is if you do something wrong, Everybody will tell you how you did it wrong, typically speaking. Hey guys. Okay, you stay put. There we go. This is a, not a fancy system here, folks. Let's see how this works. Oh yeah. Right there. That's, that's getting pretty near awesome right there. And boy, usually you don't get them right the first time. That's gonna work. Check this out. All right. Check it out. You seeing this? Okay, this, this here is just an old piece of wood that I got from a beaver dam. But, chain secured to post. This here, right here. Then this, we're gonna make a loop right here. See what we're doing here, folks? And you, can, you can really run it on top, too, no problem. Like so. And eventually they just sit like that with a little loop that sits here. It just kind of flamingos in there. Like so. I'll show you from a different angle. So, chain secure here. Okay. This is pretty simple. But if you're a slow learner like I am, I'll show you. See you on know that bumps? Bumps easy. So, what I'm doing here, folks, I'm just kind 
put in a loop de loop here. So, you seen that? Just a loop. Just one in, one in. No big deal. Now, we try to make that loop so that it, oh boy, did I put it wrong? Oh, folks, okay, there we go. Because if you put it wrong, whoever's opening that is gonna thank you about a million times over, but not in a good way, okay? So you need that to kind of rest like so. And then it just pops down. Yeah, you know what? It, okay, it's gonna work. It's gonna work. Yeah, there we go. Yep, that'll work. Boom. She's done. It's all done. Seen it? Basically, that's a fork holding this out. You want to make that so that stick can't can't bounce out of there. See? This is holding this on. The wire. So, it's pretty simple, really. Pop your wire off. That sits there like so. Both sides, pretty simple. Come in, pop your, your wood, and it doesn't take much. I'm no effort here at all. I'm gonna do one finger. That's tight. That's really tight. In fact, it's acting as a wedge. Now, some people use just wire, and you certainly can do that, but Wire wears out. This here, chain. And if you're ranching long, you're gonna have pieces, a chain here and there, tire chain, whatever it is. If it, if it needs to be tightened, you just remove this right here. I suppose you could tighten it up here too, take a notch off, but I like to keep this as clean as possible. Oh, you can see this here is from the top view, see what we're talking about here. This here comes to almost right there, which is nice, because now that's not going to get slick. If you bring it too short, there's a possibility that it bounces out of there. You don't want that. Folks, that's about all for today. I uh, haven't been doing a lot of videos, um, as most of you probably know. Uh, just been real busy. Uh, life caught up to me. Kids getting married. Two of my kids are married. Going to be a grandpa. Probably this week, month sometime. Pretty excited about that. Warren um, and Esther, they got married. She's ex-Amish. And she's just a wonderful person. They got married. A couple weeks later, they were pregnant. And um, so honeymoon baby, that's exciting. Uh, Dakota, my oldest daughter. Warren's the eldest, of course. Um, Dakota got married a few months ago. That's exciting. Um... My life is, all my kids are getting older. Uh, I'm not, but they are. That's that's odd. Um, politically, um, not a state legislator anymore. I am the only state legislator in the in, uh, union, made history of the United States, ever to be thrown out of office without a trial. A bunch of women accuse me of doing some horrible things, and, and uh, I'm not guilty of any of those. And I uh, didn't have the money to fight it. My district asked me to stay and fight. Um, but to be very honest, I kind of had my fill for with government for now. I was a state legislator. And um, I got expelled. So got fired from the Capitol. Uh, that's what happens when you're conservative. And that's kind of the trend that people are doing now. Um, you probably will be reading about it soon. There's a couple magazines and a couple folks want interviews and such. So that's a, kind of a big deal. Hope you enjoyed this leverage way of shutting the gate. Until next time, folks, this is Luke Simons. May the Lord guide keep you. Happy trails.